After 49 years, the valiant people of Burkina Faso, Mali, and Niger regretfully and with great disappointment observe that the organization has drifted from the ideals of its founding fathers and the spirit of Pan-Africanism. They argue that ECOWAS, under foreign influence, betrayed its founding principles and became a threat to its member states and their populations, which it was supposed to ensure the well-being of. So guys, welcome to the channel. So let us, let, let us just jump into this video. It, this is a beautiful moment, a wonderful moment where Burkina Faso, Mali and Niger exit ECOWAS. Um, and it's effective immediately. And now we'll get into we'll get into why they exited, but for those of who don't know what ECOWAS is, I'll just give you a quick synopsis. A quick synopsis. ECOWAS is the economic community of um of West African states, ECOWAS. And the whole purpose of ECOWAS was to come together, develop each other's economy, and most importantly, join forces in combating insurgents. That was one of the main goals, security. Have like a a security force to protect each country. At the top of my head, I know a few of them. Well, the first trade I started that exited um, Benin, Nigeria, Senegal, Cape Verde. Um, I don't want to make any mistakes. Rwanda, I think. Um, Guinea, Chad, and a couple of others. Anyway, so. And so what. The reason in the video, as they say, that they no longer see the purpose of staying in ECOWAS because they have been heavily sanctioned by ECOWAS, heavily sanctioned. Benin banned these three countries from using Benin port to import anything at all. Niger, Nigeria closed their borders and took electricity from Niger and caused over 70% of the country to be out of the current. So, how can you be ECOWAS was designed in its inception to help build um a better economy for the citizens of these countries and to help develop them. So now you put in a heart and these countries are because of Western pressure because that's one of the another reason why they exit because they said that ECOWAS is being into it has been infiltrated by the West, which is true, especially France. France is heavily behind the Nigerian president, who is now the current um, head of ECOWAS, and he's the one who is pushing for war to fight these countries. It's a lucky thing Burkina Faso there and not Mali and Niger had signed a, um, a Sahel state, which means they protect each other. That was about saving them from getting overrun by Nigeria and the French and the French army and Americans because they are pushing for that. So there's some other reason why they're leaving and it's effective immediately, as I said. But the most ridiculous thing happened. Now the Icarus members are now saying they cannot leave the 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 corporation like that. You're sanctioning you sanction them. You suspend them so they have no say in ECOWAS, but yet you want them to still contribute what they should, and you are sanctioning them heavily. Citizens are hurt and they're closing the border. But look at look at that video right there, um, right, right next to me. Where you see, and that is the citizens of these countries, and look how these citizens come out in masses to um celebrate the leaving ECOWAS. That's one of the reasons why um, Burkina Faso, Mali, and Niger is still going to be a shining light on the country because the citizens back these presidents. They are 100% behind them. So whatever decision they take, the citizens with it, as long as it's, and it's for the citizens, so they are with, they are with it. And, and you can hear, you, you can go and watch some other videos and you can see the response of some citizens of Niger, Burkina Faso, and Mali, how they are celebrating this great news for them exiting ECOWAS because it's not giving them no help. And one more thing. The the, the king of Morocco just um such a hand out to these three countries to use the Moroccan port. And after this news came out, you you believe that Benin 
gonna come now and say, oh no, we're gonna open the port to you. You can come, you can use our port, or we're gonna still sanction you. If they did not get this um, open port in, in Morocco to help them, you would come running. And if they never quit, um, the ECOWAS now, which is gonna cause wreak havoc on some of these countries. Um, economy like Nigeria, can Nigeria di di directly get hit every time they sanction or close a border and do it, stuff like that to, to hamper these states. They get hit even more than this, these countries. But now they want to come and have dialogue. But from, from for the past two years, you've been sanctioning, doing everything humanly possible to hold these countries down, even though the economy is ballooning. Is, is ballooning out of this world because of the, the the resources that they stopped from being mined in the country, and and France have no France no longer has any power or any way to get to the resources that it was stealing. I mean, so literally stealing like trillions of dollars annually from these countries. Not over decades. Every year, this um France um take out over a trillion dollars out of these economies. Because via resources and this is what fueling the French economy, the educational system, the hospital the hospital system and uh, I think twenty five percent of, of um their their budget is from the African these African states. So you can see why again they are leaving and they are standing on their own two feet. And Russia is back in these countries fully when it comes down to military aid. That they kick out all the Western countries, France, US Germany, every one of them, they are out and they stop all raw material export. And this is why they are now using ECOWAS to punish these countries, but it's backfiring basically because now even the citizens of these, of Nigeria, is now standing up for Mali, Burkina Faso, and, 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 um, and Niger. So, good luck. I'm happy these three countries is now out of ECOWAS. And they are standing firmly in their way forward, decolonizing the minds of their citizens. Um, stop using the French language as um as the main language, which these they it pass in in the constitution. Now they put in the constitution for French no longer to be the the um their language. And um the economies are ballooning, they they are making great strides in um doing infrastructure work and um Education wise, they are giving, they are, um, they are offering free education, they are offering um, farmers grants to expand their farm because they're saying they want to be food secure in the next five years, which they are on the right track because they're already expanding um, agriculture vastly and quickly and in these said countries. So, Shout out, big ups to these three countries. Let me know what you think about this in the comment section if you agree with what's happening with Ekaros and what are your thoughts on it. Let me know, let me know about it in the comment section. Boom.